Here's your StormTrack 7 forecast. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm StormTrack 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Today is a nice break from the rain. We're going to see mostly sunny skies. Things are getting a little breezy out there as that system starts to develop out to our west. It's going to bring us a chance for some afternoon showers in our western counties tomorrow. And then on Thursday, showers look likely for everybody. It's going to be another one of those soaking days with the strong breezes and pretty cool temperatures. Here's how things play out on future track. Uh, you see these lines. Those are lines of constant pressure. The closer they are together, the stronger the wind. So you notice uh, those get overhead for today. Low starts to develop and will uh, produce plenty of rain showers and even snow across the uh, mountainous regions of the west. That low will push off to our south as we work our way into tomorrow. So clouds increase for tonight. We are still dry for the first half of the day on Wednesday. That narrow strip of rain is going to be over western Iowa for the morning hours of tomorrow. Then by the afternoon and evening into our western counties, still dry for the east. It won't be until Wednesday night and Thursday that that rain will finally cover the viewing area. And so everybody sees light to moderate rain for the uh, nighttime hours of Wednesday into Thursday. And then on Thursday, it's going to be uh, that soaking day. Low continues to push off to our southeast for the day on Thursday. Still giving us those rain chances, but then by Friday, those rain uh, showers will break apart and clouds will finally start to push out by the Halloween weekend. As far as rainfall amounts go, we're talking another half inch to an inch and a half across the viewing area. Uh, isolated two inch amounts will be possible. It looks like the further east you go, uh, the totals will start to drop off, but still fairly significant here for late October, especially considering all the rain that we had here over the last couple of days. And wind gusts will be fairly strong today, gusting 25 to 30 miles per hour as winds will gradually increase throughout the afternoon. But they actually stay strong throughout tonight into tomorrow, so the winds just really don't let up. For the rest of today, though, highs will be in about the mid to upper 50s with mostly sunny skies, so today is looking pretty nice. Then for tonight, we are mild with lows in about the low to mid 40s as skies become mostly cloudy, but that rain holds off until tomorrow afternoon for our western counties. And uh, highs still remain fairly nice in the mid 50s. On Thursday, we're cooling down to about 50 as we'll have an 80% chance for rain. So it does cool down a bit, but not cold enough to see any snow or ice. We'll see uh, the rain pushing out on Friday morning. Then after that, we are seeing plenty of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. Highs try to get back to near 60 there on Saturday, but another cold front will knock us back down to about 52 to close out the weekend. Lows will dip into the 30s as well. Then next week, another cold front on Monday will give us mostly cloudy skies. Look at the high temperatures only in the mid to upper 40s throughout the entire week with lows down into the mid 20s at times. We do look to be dry though with plenty of sunshine.